Okay, so this is the Bridge Par Cabernet Franc 2018. It's from my Two Ring YY series. And this wine is from the Hawke's Bay region. Bridge Par is a small uh, Appalachian sub region, if you like, within the Hawke's Bay region. Hawke's Bay, as you may know, is on the eastern coast of the North Island about halfway between the north and the south of that North Island, right smack bang between Auckland and Wellington. It's a pretty special region, Hawke's Bay, especially for Chardonnay and for red wines. Bridge Pa is one of the great regions and subregions in the Hawke's Bay for Cabernet Franc, which can be a little bit of a tricky variety to grow in and to make wine from. When it's good, Cabernet Franc is absolutely wonderful. But the problem is it's quite, quite temperamental, a bit like Pinot Noir, so it's a bit fussy. It chooses its site um, carefully, and uh, most of the time it, it's a pretty ordinary grape variety. But when it finds its home, as in this Two Ring of series, it is absolutely exceptional. So about this wine, uh, it comes from the Howell family vineyard, a winery I work, a vineyard I work very closely with, and uh, they're, they're good friends. The, the soil is quite gravelly, um, it's, a bit of, it's a river, an old ancient riverbed and so you've got lots of gravels but there's also a lot of sedimentary soil in there that helps um, add organic matter and also keeps the soil a little cooler than the neighbouring subregion, the Gimlet Gravels. It's a slightly better region in my opinion for Cabernet Franc than the famous Gimlet Gravels. This wine is 2018 as I said. And it's a very, very good vintage for Cabernet Franc. The alcohol in this is 12.5%. It's not high, it's very moderate, but if we'd picked any later, it would have been overripe. I, I do not like to pick the grapes too ripe. I like absolute optimum ripeness. Um, not too jammy, not too green. Just right, right at that perfect moment where the fruit, the varietal qualities of the, of the Cabernet Franc express themselves perfectly. It's, it's got red raspberry fruit characters, it's, it's got uh, currant characters, it, it's got a wonderful little background tomato leaf character that I see. It's, there's an oak influence there because of course the wine's been aged in oak for 11 months I think. Now these, this wine, unlike the Grand Amateur that you're familiar with, this wine has been stored in uh, barrels that are slightly smaller, the classic 228 litre. So what that means is you get a bit more of that oak influence coming through. And uh, this is, once again, this is a 30% new oak component, a uh, blend. And, uh, but the oak is showing a little bit more than uh, that we see in the Grand Amateur, which is, uh, goes, uh, Alabage is carried out in bigger barrels, 300 litre barrels. I ferment very cool. Uh, around 22, 24 degrees. And the reason I do that is for a healthy fermentation so the fruit can express itself, but also so that I don't extract too much of those green tannins, where a lot of those capsicum characters that you might see in Bordeaux and other Cabernet, uh, Bordeaux-based blends, if you like, can often show. This, the cooler the fermentation, the less of those characters you get. So this is a this really is, uh, in many ways, an homage to the Cabernet Franc of the Loire Valley. I worked there for four years, and I guess you could say that the Grand Amateur is a more traditional style of Loire-inspired Cabernet Franc. This is a more of a new wave, if you like, Saint Nicola uh, Cabernet Franc. So very fine-grained tannins, very pure, very precise aromatic expression, lovely red fruit, a little bit of floral aromatic profile, greens coming through, and then of course wrapped in this wonderful cedar expression from the oak. So this wine is going to, it's drinking extremely well at the moment, but it will continue to improve, I think, for at least another six or seven years before it hits its apex. So drink now or hold on to it for at least five to six years if you want to see how this wonderful wine from this wonderful vineyard evolves over time. Thank you very much.